Welcome back for part two of the collection series. So this part is just going to focus on anything I have in plastic case. So this is a mix of promos, foils, and other miscellaneous. So we're just going to dig right into it. So, um, again, as you see on the top, I have the filler card, which I've done videos on in the past. Well, I did a video on it. If there's anything you see here that... Um, just like in the first part, anything you look at and be like, what did you use that in a deck for, or how did that card come to be? So a lot of these are just, in the beginning, promotional cards. Um, you will see some very unique cards in here. One particular um, couple here. This is the New York City Explosive Fighter Yukarn. I believe that was for the, I think it was the premiere of Duel Masters, maybe in New York. So either way, that's a that's a really interesting promo. So next up, more promos. And now, again, coming up, there's going to be one particular promo, which I'll show off a bit. Uh, Neve the Leveler, which I think is right... Nope, a little more. Melania, right here. Neve the Leveler. Um, I don't think I've done a video on this yet. I can if you guys would like. I believe this was a part of a create your create a card contest, and that is how this was produced. Next, you'll see I actually have signed cards. Let me get them all out to show them collectively. These are all signed cards I have from uh, the artist Natsuo. So there was a guy. So I picked these up from someone on eBay, and they had. Um, met Natsuo at a Comic-Con in New York. So he actually signed some of the cards. And of course, because Duel Masters only went 12 sets in the TCG, I have a feeling that those were just some of the earliest cards. He did do more later on, to my knowledge. So next we're going to some just Japanese cards that I just love. I don't even know if they're good. But again, some of the things that Duel Masters did in the OCG is just beast. I mean, they are so cool cards. I'm a huge Mega Man fan, so as soon as I saw that, I had to have it. I don't even know. Their effects could be garbage, but they're really cool. Then I have, like, this promo Duel Master uh, Tear Pit. So, you do see some really neat cards. Next, you have the Holiday Cards. Kata's Cruise Come to Town, Spread Joy to the World, Treasure Cruise, Forbidden New Year, and Decky the Hall. So, those are all the holiday cards I showed off in a previous video. So that is pile one. Next we get into next we get into the regular foils. So we were just again these are cards we're just gonna run through. All these cards are cards I have or have thought about using in decks. So we're gonna have the five sieves and then we're going to have the multi sieve cards. So we're just going to do a relatively quick run, just kind of showing off what I have in collection. Again, the point and the goal of these two videos is to kind of inspire you guys. Like, you know, if there are any cards you see that you'd want me to try using in a deck for a video, that if there's any card, ooh, the glare, there we go. Sorry, guys. If there's any cards that, and like this card, there's so many decks you can use Petrova with. Petrova is an insane card. Um, again, with future videos, I do want to do a top 10 of different civilizations. I also would like to do more more videos just related to um, more videos for duels, videos for top 10s. And again, if there's any kind of uh, profile videos that you want me to do on certain styles of decks, I can do that too. So again, there's a lot of things out there for Duel Masters. A lot of deck ideas I have I'd like to follow through on. Other cards that, you know, I'm still not sure how I'd want to use them. Um, as I mentioned in part one, I do try to get a copy of most cards if I can. There are some I'm obviously not going to have. So, and by, I guess not so obviously. But, like, for example, like DM1... I don't keep any tower shells in this collection. I don't really see a reason to. So that's not a card I have. 
just because it's not something that I'd ever use in a deck, and it's not rare enough that I want to keep in collection. Necro Dragons, Ultracide Worm, Balloon. Oh, something else that is going to be a uh, Something else I want to try doing. So as I may have mentioned, um, I do plan on doing more um, cam more uh, film duels coming up. Um, in looking at this collection, I would love if you guys commented. If you had, when in seeing my collection, seeing what I have to offer, what would you like to see matched up against another style deck? So I, again, will have a friend coming into the U.S. at some point next year that we're going to do a ton of live duels. So if there's like a matchup you'd love to see from these cards, I want you to feel free to tell me, oh, ball media steal. I still, you know, it's funny, guys. I sold so many of these from the MJ packs, and I thought I'd pull a fourth one in my last 200. Didn't get any. So I'm also hunting just like you guys for one more copy of Ball Media Steel Dragon. So that is another pile. So yes, if you guys have any, like one of my favorite games I played over Skype was we had a matchup where we had um, Ball Me not Ball Medius, um, Uber Dragon Bajula, and we had it against Y Starnoid, and I lost the game with no mana, and I had nine shields down. My opponent had two two Uber Dragon Bajulas on the field. So, what killed me is in that game, um, I actually had an Emerald, and the shield I picked up was a Holy All, which was just brutal, because a Holy All or a Cologne would have would have done it. So, the last part here is where the going gets good. I'm going to slow run these. Because this is where the value is just insane. And again, cards that took me a long time to get. So we start off with three Bomb Bazaars, four Soul Phoenix. We have four Miraculous Rebirths. And again, I do want to stress to you guys, it did not happen overnight. Many years of collecting have gone into all the cards you're seeing. Because... Again, if I would if I would buy all of this in one sitting, I don't know, guys, what do you think from looking at this collection? Maybe $10,000, which sounds crazy at first, but then you break down the value of each card, and you're like, maybe, maybe, maybe. So, I mean, if you look at both this and the last video, I, w I estimated for years, I was like, I feel like probably my collection would be maybe $10,000 if I had to sell the whole thing. Um, that the DM11 stuff I got, I was able to get a couple more Miraculous Plague. Um, and then finally, I have one. I would love if I got more. I currently have one Blue Murkies. That's one I would love to have more for games, but it's that is such a hard card to get. It's like a $100 card. And then finally, three Y Staranoids. So again, I ask you guys in the coming months. Um, watching this video, are there any matchups you'd want to see card versus card? Any deck styles? Anything that you think would help to make a very interesting or balanced duel? Feel free to comment below. Um, I do hope, and again, just it was less of a show off. I'm, I was, my intention for this video is to kind of show you guys, you know, if you were to see duels between two players. What would you want to see out of all of these cards going at each other? I thought about fun videos like maybe I should use like Neve the Leveler, which isn't really a good card, but just kind of a gag card or even throwing in like one of the uh, holiday cards and doing that in a live duel to uh, kind of troll the audience. So if you guys have any fun ideas or, um, you know, anything you want to see in a matchup, uh, leave it in the comments. And if anything else, just, you know, throw, throw a thumbs up. It's exciting to see you guys enjoy the content. I hope this was a fun, a fun change up to my normal videos. I do hope to start throwing in, in a couple eBay lots I find. Um, maybe some collections I buy or just some unique card openings. So, unfortunately, a lot of the history side, I think I've hit on a lot of the, um, like, tournament stuff. Uh, I would love, if I can someday get a plaque to show off, for those um, 
the duels of the, the five civilization tournament. It would be really neat, but it probably wouldn't even be fun because the uh, plaque would not be in my name. So whoever I got it from, it would be kind of weird having their plaque. Anyway, guys, I'll stop rambling. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. And again, I would love if you comment below on cards you would love to see go at it. So you guys have a great day. Thanks for joining me, and I'll see you in my next video.